I want to talk to you about what I believe to be the best free computer science course out there for you to start learning computer science today. In fact, this course is not only the best computer science course that I've ever taken, it's probably the best online course I've ever taken period. This course is called CS50 by Harvard University. And if you've been looking out for computer science courses online, you've probably heard of it because this course really is more than a course. It's more of a movement. And I'm literally not joking. This one website describes it as a cultural touchstone, a lifestyle and a spectacle. And I would agree. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why. It's available for you to take for completely free on edX, which means that you can just go take it right after watching this video. Just watch this video first, by the way, and leave a like down below if you find it helpful. Now, I don't usually give this level of praise to any online material, but I never left a course feeling so excited to learn more about an area as I did after I completed CS50. The way they teach is enthusiastic and is something completely different compared to any other computer science course that I've ever done before. And this course is something where I feel like the whole education industry should look for David, Brian and others from CS50 for guidance because this is I believe how things should actually be taught. By the way if you're new to this channel I talk about self-teaching computer science. I want to prove to the world that it's possible to learn computer science without a degree. I already learned coding and became a software engineer in only four months and I'm gonna make a video about that soon which you can watch right here and CS50 was a big part of this journey for me. Okay, so what is CS50? They describe themselves as an introduction to the intellectual enterprises of computer science and the art of programming. It's a beginner friendly college level course that will teach you the fundamentals of programming, but also the fundamentals of computer science. So it's not just a coding bootcamp where you learn how to code. It actually teaches you the fundamentals of how to think like a programmer so that you actually understand at a very low level what is going on when you are programming. Two thirds of the people who take CS50 have never programmed before, but that isn't to be mistaken to mean that CS50 is easy. Far from it. It's actually very, very hard, but that's actually a good thing. And I'm going to talk about why in just a second. The first week starts off just with an introduction on how computers work at a very low level, sort of how the binary system works and like how computers store memory and that kind of stuff. You do a little assignment in this programming language called Scratch, which is sort of a fun graphical way to get used to the ideas of how to express things programmatically. But then after the first week, it really goes from zero to 100 very quickly. You start off using the programming language C, which is a le very low level language with not a lot of features built Built in so that then when a couple of weeks when you move on to use a more higher level language like python you actually appreciate all the features that a language like python offers and the things that you will do in the first few weeks in c that will take you like hours to do only to find out that in python you can just do them in like one line which may sound frustrating but it's actually useful because you'll have such an appreciation of all the things that modern programming language offer when you've actually understood the low level details in a more rudimentary language like C. And the course culminates in a final project where you will apply all the things that you've learned to create a full-fledged web application or any application you want really. I ended up creating this international tax calculator app where you can enter a gross salary and it will output a net salary in many different countries. It's actually a lot simpler than what you could have done with the things that you learned on this course, but I just wanted to do this. And this isn't to say that you'll become an expert, but you'll sort of have enough understanding where you can then and go out and learn more without necessarily needing someone to hold your hand. But as I said, CS50 is very, very hard. But that's a good thing, and let me tell you why. Every week of CS50, you will have a lecture, a couple of instructional videos, and then a set of problems. And this may seem like not a lot for what's supposed to take a full week, but you will actually end up spending a lot of time on these problem sets because they're very difficult. They're of course related to the things that you learn each week, but the instructions that you get are not like build this function by first doing this and then doing this. No, no, no. It's more in the sense of build a function that does this. And then it's just up to you to figure out how to do it. And there are clues in the things that you learn in the lecture, but there will be a lot of Googling. You will have to search a lot of stuff yourself and really learn how to problem solve. That is a good thing because programming in the real world is hard. Computer science is complicated. It's hard. So this course gets you used to the idea that in the real world, you won't have set instructions on how to build some function that you want to build. You will always need to look stuff up. Even senior people do this. Also, I hear this is 
how programming is. So the fact that this course gets you used to the idea that it's not easy is a very good thing in my opinion. So I would say embrace the challenge. And if you don't enjoy this sort of problem solving, that's actually fine because what that might actually tell you is that maybe programming isn't for you. Maybe computer science isn't for you. And that's also a very fair enough conclusion to come to. Okay, so I've talked about what CS50 is. I've talked about why it's hard and why it's good, but why is this course actually so great? And a lot of it comes from just the passion that the lecturers and the instructors have for computer science. David Milan is the best lecturer I've ever seen. The way they present stuff just makes it almost impossible for you to not get excited about the things as well. The team has put an insane amount of effort into creating these elaborate demonstrations. And I will admit that they obviously benefit from the huge endowment and the huge budget that the Harvard University has. But still, it's just the effort that they've put into this course is something admirable and it really makes you more excited to learn. Just keep learning more. And I wish they had an infinite amount of lectures about computer science because I would watch now all Now I, in fact, have a one. Well, how do I count higher than one? I, of course, need another light bulb. So let me grab another one here. And if I put it in that same kind so of- A lot of the value of this course not only comes from the fact that the information is obviously great. If you're having fun learning something, you're always more likely to actually learn it. And it's always more likely that something's gonna stick when you're actually engaged in the learning process. And it's no surprise that this course literally has a cult following online. They have a full Reddit page dedicated to this course and then they have a Discord channel. So this is the amount of support and resources available to help you complete this course just also makes it stand out. So in conclusion, go take this course, at least watch the first lecture. Just from the first lecture alone, I learned so much about how computers actually work in a low level. And if you don't come out of the first lecture excited to learn more, then it's fine. You don't have to take the rest of the course. As I said, it's completely free. By the way, edX will try to sell you this certificate where you can pay for like a verified certificate, but just don't bother paying for it because you do get a free certificate at the end of it if you just choose to go the free route and you get access to all the materials. The, the paid option on edX just doesn't offer any extra value, so I don't see any reason to pay for it. Embrace the challenge, embrace the struggle. This course will kick your ass, it definitely did for me, but that's a good thing. So that was CS50. They do have follow-up courses like the web programming path, which I've also done. Let me know if you want me to make a review on that as well. This channel is documenting my journey, self-teaching computer science, and my life as a self-taught software engineer. And if you want to learn more about how to self-teach computer science, I created myself a full system on Notion using materials online to basically give me a full-on computer science degree for completely free. If you want to know how I'm doing that, make sure to watch this video next. The response on it has been amazing, so please go watch this video next.